Good morning, everybody. Chad here with my mom. I came over to Judy's kitchen this morning because I convinced her into sharing with you all one of my favorite childhood recipes. In fact, look, wait for it. Hold this, mother. That box right there is full of recipes that I grew up with as a child. So show them some of the recipes. Oh, okay. Let me see. Here, I'll hold we, it. We have banana bread. Banana bread. One of my favorites. Uh, miniature pecan pies. That sounds delicious. Uh, potato candy. That sounds amazing. Pudding pops. Pudding pops. Butterscotch fingers. Mother, did I only eat sweets growing up as a child? <laughs> Do we have a recipe for insulin in the box? <laughs> Good Lord. Okay, that's it. Okay, so wait. Uh, we have a recipe, though, for chicken and dumplings. Uh, no, we don't, Dad. There's not one in here for chicken and dumplings. What do you mean there's not one in there? You used to make that all the time at Thanksgiving. It only has two ingredients. What are you talking about, two ingredients? There's not a recipe? <laughs> there's not a recipe. What do you mean there's not a recipe? <laughs> but, okay, what, show everybody what you're doing, first of okay, all. Okay, I'm stirring chicken broth. Okay, but hold on. Can we go back to this whole thing about there not being a recipe? What are you talking about? There's not a recipe. It's real easy to make chicken and dumplings. You use chicken broth and you use uh, biscuits. Just biscuits that you buy at the grocery. Generic biscuits. Chicken broth and biscuits? That's all you put in it? <laughs> That's it. Uh, the broth is boiling. Now I'm going to go get the biscuits. I cannot believe this. I thought we had some sort of like passed down recipe for chicken and dumplings that was passed down through generations and generations of the Adams women. By the way, an Adams over there. Adams which is apparently old English for fraud and deception. I cannot believe this. Are you kidding me? No, listen. Listen. Well, maybe. No. Chad, what? I love that you're stabbing a can of biscuits, and what you've really done is you've stabbed my memories of childhood, is what you've done on this Thanksgiving day. This I cannot believe this. Look, that's exactly what she's done to my soul this morning. Our biscuit and gravy recipe is literally broth and biscuits. I grew up thinking you all were amazing cooks. What did she do? a different can. I cannot believe this. My whole world is rocked right now. Biscuits and broth. That's our recipe. I, can I at least say? At least she got a name brand biscuit. So now what are you going to do, Judy? Show Okay, we're going to take one little biscuit and we're going to pinch this and we're going to drop it in the chicken broth. <laughs> I am so mad and right now. And each little biscuit will make four bites. <laughs> <laughs> this is our recipe is our for recipe. chicken and dumplings. This is so mortifying and horrifying and embarrassing, <laughs> but I will say, I will say they're really good, aren't they, Judy? Oh, they are wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> How long does it take to make this delicious, this delicious and intricate Thanksgiving meal, Judy? Well, if you get the biscuits open, <laughs> not real long. <laughs> well, I guess if you think of it this way, my family created the world's easiest chicken and dumpling recipe. Say happy Thanksgiving, Judy. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. I hope your childhood memories aren't destroyed today like mine were.